And here we have the motorized latch retraction kit for the Conair panel line device, our extended wire lead, and our remote MM4 module. Now let's jump live to the field where we're going to remove both filler plates, set those aside, and there's going to be two sets of screws on the front and back. We're going to remove all four of those so that we can remove the panel line device from the door. Now we're going to disassemble the lever arm assembly by removing the screw, bolt, and C-clip. Set those aside and we can now slide out the lever arm and set that aside. Now back at the film studio we're going to have the device on its back and remove all four screws from the back of the device. Now starting at the head of the device we can pull the base rail off the push pad. Now let's grab our motor kit and between the activating brackets facing the back activating bracket we're going to slide our attaching bracket through the back activating bracket opening. Pop it over onto the dogging pin in the back of the device. Now our motor mount bracket will slide right on to the back activating bracket roll pin. Make sure that the base of the motor kit sits flush with the back activating bracket. Also make sure our rear mounting bracket is sitting on top of the connecting rod. Now we're going to run our remote module cable underneath the connecting rod and back through the back activating bracket opening to the back of the device. We have a mounting pad with a zip tie to function as a strain relief for those wires. And here's how it looks all complete. Next we're going to grab those roller bearings and install those on both activating brackets facing the rear of the device. It's a little easy to get mixed up on this device, so starting at the head of the device we're going to slide back on the base rail, making sure that the bracket goes into that top channel and the bearings go in the middle channel. And the tendency is to want to push down on the activating brackets as you slide the device on. It's much easier to slide on if you keep pressure off the activating brackets. It's also important as you're sliding this on to make sure each one of the motor brackets is sliding into that top channel as well. If one of them misses the top channel, then you'll have a misalignment in the kit causing it to malfunction. Now we're looking for those screw holes to line up to know we're in the right spot. Once all four of those are lined up, we can reinstall the screws to secure the push pad to the base rail. Now we're going to hook up our remote module. And we have two Molex connectors, a 3 pin and a 4 pin. So we can see that the 4 pin is going to go on top and the 3 pin underneath. And those plug right in. And once connected you can give them a little tug just to make sure they're secure. And now we can hook up to power utilizing our new command access field tester. We're going to cycle the device a few times to confirm the motor is working properly before heading back into the field where we can reinstall the lever arm assembly starting with reinserting the pin from the back of the device, securing it with the C-clip, and installing your screw. Now you're going to have these clips on the back and front of the door and those are for the filler plate. They do slide around in there so you're going to want to make sure they're all the way to the corner. 
Now we can grab our panel line device and reinstall it back into the door. You're going to want to make sure that the lever arm slides in and engages with the rods. Once lined up with the four existing holes on the door, we can reinstall the four screws to secure the panel line device back to the door. Now is when you're going to want to confirm the mechanical operation of the device. Also check the rods to confirm that there's no mechanical adjustment to the rods needed. One way to adjust the travel is by adjusting the lever arm. And you can do this by loosening the lever arm screw slightly and sliding that bracket up and down to get more travel on that lever arm. Once it's in the right location, you can reinstall that screw. Testing it. Once in the right spot, we can move forward with setting our motor adjustment. We're going to depress the pad to where we'd like it to retract to. Apply power for a series of six beeps. Release the pad and power and refire to that newly programmed location. If for some reason the push to set is having a hard time finding the proper position, we do have an alternative method using a trim pod on the underside of the MM4 to increase the amount the device pulls in. You're going to rotate it clockwise and to decrease the amount the device is pulling in, you're going to adjust it counterclockwise. Please note, once you start dialing in the potentiometer, the push to set will be shunt until it is turned all the way counterclockwise to zero. Whichever method works best for you. Once you've found the right spot, open and close the door a few times and confirm the device is retracting to your desired location. Now we can reinstall the filler plates. And that, my friends, is another successful installation.